friends here we are going to discuss about os.path module actually this os.path is a sub module of os let me open my command line uh, i am going to open my linux terminal so here let me enter into my python 3 terminal right so here i am going to import os now you know you can see the list of more operations with your os now if you see somewhere you have os.path right let me go and see that os.path this one right this is the sub module of your os so i want to see what are the operations are there with os.path so you can do it once again in this way os directory or operations on your os.path see that you are getting some of the operations from your os.path right and this os.path sub module is used to work on paths like you know whether particular path is there or not whether that path is the directory or file path right what is the size of that what is the uh, when it was created what is the access time what is the modified time right whether it is a soft link or not so in this way to work with your paths we are using os.path module right let me go with some of them first thing os.path.separator we know os.separator is also having your os separator information the same way os.path.separator is also your operating system separator right let me do one thing simply print os.path.separator you are getting your separator of your operating system right then next one ways dot path dot base name of path first of all let me do one thing guys suppose i am going to take a path called home ec2 user and then some test dot py okay let me simply copy the copy this path and i am going to enter into my python terminal or you can also open some script no problem let me do it this thing otherwise vi os path dot py i am going to import first os module right then i am going to take a path in this way guys i don't want to again again and again uh type this path that's why i'm take i am storing my path into a variable called path now what i want to do is see guys base name means right see in this entire path let me show you that first print os dot path dot base name of your path see the output what you are getting right let me save this and run this with your python 3 see the output right see in your given path base name means this is what is your exact last ending value in your path it may be directory or path right you have one more thing that is let me print now os dot path dot directory name of your path that means whatever the file or path complete path you are providing in that path what is the directory name I mean, first let me run this. Before running this, let me open your script once and then I am going to run. So, actually, you are running a script to know what is the directory name of your path. See, guys, if you take this is the path, this is called directory name for this file. Right? See the output? You are getting that one only. Base name means this part you are getting. Directory name means you are getting this path. So this is very very helpful whenever if you are installing some packages right fine then what is the next one os.path.join so this is used to join two paths suppose guys just assume that you don't have this os.path.join operation now what i want to do is i want to add two paths guys let me enter into my python terminal so before going to enter let me do it this now i am going to enter into python 3 let's say i have a two paths path one is suppose root home then path two i am having some ec2 user
now i want to add these two paths you know these two are strings you can add it like if you remember you can add two strings in this way string 1 plus string 2 right see the result yes you are getting but these two are the paths between these two paths you should have path separator as well that means manually you need to add your path separator path 1 plus your path separator of your operating system now i am working with unix operating system that's why i need to do i need to provide this slash if it is windows other slash you have to provide right then path 2 then in this way you can get it but whenever if you are writing a script in that you are doing some uh, you are adding some two paths but based on operating system you need to provide slash but if you take this one i mean let me take import os let me print now os.path.join just i am providing path 1 and path 2 i am not giving the separator to add these two paths python will take care based on your operating system see that i am not giving this slash no by default your python is providing that slash if it is windows it will provide different slash if it is unix it is providing this one so automatically your python will add by providing your path separator between two paths so it is very very important guys adding two paths see two paths are strings you can also add your strings in this way but whenever if you are doing in this way based on operating system you have to provide your slash but if you take os.path.join python will take care about your separator that's it simple no then os.path.split see whatever the path you are having in your hand right if you if you split that it is going to split the path name into a pair which consists of head and tail i mean let's say somewhere we have path right let me take this path assume that this is a path this is a path so in this path this is called head and this is called tail see if i do simply os let me print the result directly and guys you can also assign this operations output into some variable os dot path dot split your path whatever the path you are having in your hand see the result you are getting a tuple which consists of head and tail now this operation output you can assign you know this is you know path dot dir name output this is base name command output you have done this right uh, base name and then dir name that's what it is giving split operation is going to give dir name and then base name outputs fine now just get the path size i mean whatever the file you have in your hand i want to get the size for that see os dot path dot get size is the operation see nothing is there you don't worry where these are operations are there dir of os dot path it will give list of operations from that i am taking some of them for time being and by default this operation will give you result in terms of bytes right see what i am saying is you don't need to remember all these operations just to have a glance once here so from this i am taking some of them right sorry not ways dot separator right ways dot path that's it fine now next one is ways dot path dot exist see guys just assume that you are going to start some application to start some application you have some command for that application on your operating system so to start that application i need to run some particular file but before going to run make sure that whether it is there or not if it is not there you can't do anything right that's why just for if condition purpose right you can use this one os dot path dot exist your path if really your path is existing guys our path is I stored somewhere path as this one if test.py is there then only i can run it yes you are getting true see what i am saying is i can write a simple python script in this i am taking in this way if os.path.exist your given path then i can say print your file is there right so let me run it else else if that is false then i can say that print this let me print it 
is not present on this host that's it right let me run it once python 3 script yes you are getting your file is there what i am doing is i am just going to modify my path value something like that ec2 hyphen user is there no i am removing some e letter now that is a not a valid path on my host now if i run that see is not present on this host yes it is not present so to take some decision based on your file with if condition this is also helpful right then see given path may be file path or directory path you can check it os.path.is file in case whatever the path you are providing if that is a file path then this value will give output as a true then if it is a directory path then os.path.is directory will give that output as a directory now see that what i am doing is i want to decide i want to decide whether the given path is a file or not then what i will do let me comment all these lines right i am going to comment all these lines now i am implementing a simple script that is if os.path.is file whatever the path you are having in your hand then i can say that print is a file that's it else if it is not a file we have only one other option that is print print your path is a directory that's it so i can use only is file and i can decide because if it is a file then os.path.is file will becomes true then you are going to display this line right see the output yes now what i am doing is i am going to modify your path i am going to give up to directory right now see the result what you are getting is a directory you are getting yes it's a directory previously you got file now it is a directory see now to check that i can use either is file operation or is directory operation in your if conditions then os.path.is link see you know sometimes we have some soft links right let me check it is there any soft link no let me do one thing i am going to create a soft link os.path i am going to create my os something like that now see that now my os is a soft link right i want to check that with python whether it is a soft link or not simply import your os you can also write your script i'm i'm doing from from command line right see print os.path.is link then just to provide your suppose my os file or you can also provide complete path as of now i am in the same location that's why i am not providing complete path yes true but what i am doing is os.path.is link i am providing suppose os underscore path dot py this is not a soft link this is simply a file right that's why i are getting output as false so based on this true and false i can uh, tell that this is a soft link and this is a this is not a soft link by using if condition right so guys these all are the some of the operations from your os dot path and which are very very helpful in your real time along with that you also need access time right some creation time modify time so these times you can get from your os.path os.path dot get access time but to understand these three operations you should be good with some time module of your python so after discussing time module once again we'll come back to your os.path and i will explain about these three operations right okay okay guys thank you for watching this video